All right, welcome everybody. Um, today I have a super cool interview I'm very excited about with George Moore. And um, just kind of introduce this by, it, you know, a while back, someone said, oh, George looked into it and George is excited about it, therefore everybody's gonna do it now. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> someone has that good a reputation that it's like, bam. Like, so all of a sudden, all the doctors at the clinic I was at yesterday, they're like, oh, yeah, I don't I don't have to look at it. George says it's good. No questions asked. I'm like, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years. And that's a very unusual that the super picky naturopathic doctors all just do it, even though they don't even like network marketing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, yeah. Steven. Thanks for inviting me on here. So, yeah, um, uh, my name is George Moore, and uh, I am in the natural health field and have been in it for over 30 years. Uh, my background is I grew up in Illinois. I worked at, I managed a couple of health food stores. Uh, people sometimes call me Curious George because I'm always the one that would ask a million questions. Why is this? How does this happen? So I was always the one that was researching, digging into um, everything. So while working at a health food store, I went through a nutritional consultant program and then naturopathic doctor program. I used to do a live show on health and nutrition on the radio. So I would always have a health topic that we would uh, talk about. Then we'd open up the phone lines and I was like the nutrition answer man. Yeah. And so yeah. that's when I found out about the uh, microscopy that I do now here, where I look at blood under a microscope and you can see some very interesting things uh, doing that. So over the years, because I was the one that would always investigate things and people would frequently ask me questions about whether it's nutritional products, supplements, or, you know, even various health issues that sometimes would be stubborn issues that people couldn't seem to turn around. Yeah, awesome. So how, now, I made the mistake of calling it Burkfield microscopy. That's not technically accurate the microscopy word is accurate specifically how long have you been doing it and like what kind of device do you have for that okay so i got started in uh, the late 90s i think it was 97 so um and uh, i have what's called a phase contrast microscope so a lot of people are familiar with some of the research that came out of Germany where they would originally use what's called a dark field microscope and dark field and phase contrast are the two most common types. And each of us, each of those uh, formats allows you to see some things better than others. So, yeah. So about 26 years you've been doing this. Yes. Uh -huh. Right. So someone told you about the Vidify curcumin product. You did some research, you used the products, then, you know, I was in, I was in the office, was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, day before Steve, yesterday. It was the day before, yes. And you're like, Steve, I got to show you this picture. Now, this picture, the two pictures that you sent me, I posted to my Facebook page, Andy, suppose that experts in microscopy, they're like, that's not how that works. That's impossible. Blah, blah, blah. You're ruining your reputation. I'm like, oh, you really? Okay. So that's partially why we're doing this interview, right? <laughs> so I'm going to share, I'm going to screen share and I, um, to show, uh, this picture. So you told me someone, someone who was binge drinking or something called you concerned because they're like, I think I might have jacked up my liver what kind of what was the conversation with this person um you described it so i did have a client who called me up and mentioned that he had um you know been abusing alcohol uh, was concerned about his health but he'd been clean for several days and so he wanted to just take a look at see um you know what was going on so um i just do a little finger prick, take a drop of blood that I put on one slide. Yeah. On this picture, if you look in the upper right hand, there's this, it looks like a black circle with a lighter center. That's yeah. a single individual red blood cell. And ideally all the cells should look like that where they're nicely separated from each other. Yeah. The majority yeah. of you see that where they look like these uh, lines that look like uh, snakes or worms, they're, um, dozens hundreds of red blood cells that are so tightly clumped together 
that the hemoglobin that's supposed to carry the oxygen as well as other nutrients can't take it in uh, through the rest of the um, the red blood cells carry nutrients to you know the entire body. Yeah. And in the center where you see this little scratchy lines, um, they're sometimes called liver spicules or the technical term for lead formation for those that want to get technical. And uh, um, anyway, I when I saw this picture and he was a little bit concerned, he says, you know, I've been clean for at that point, it'd been six days and he'd been juicing. And he says, I have, you know, it seems like after all the things I've been doing to try to detoxify that I think this should look a little bit better. I said, well, I would agree. <laughs> and I said, you know, I have a new product. I've never done this before, but would you mind if I were to give you 10 drops of this and some water? And I did give him 10 drops of, um, some people call it the liquid gold here. Yeah. And uh, by the way, that's just the label amount. That's not even a really. Uh, amount. Right. So anyway, I just put in a half liter of water. He shook it up and then drank it. And so at the end of the session, I did another finger prick to see if there had uh, been any change. And, um, well, that's his uh, after picture. How how long was this? That was about a half hour. So. About a half an hour. I thought it was 10 minutes. I will go back and edit my post to be exact. <laughs> <Just so people. laughs> All right. So, of yeah. course, now. So, you did this see. surprise you, George, to see this bigger results in that period of time? So, since it was the first time that I had. Uh, um, tried it. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I'd already seen some testimonials of uh, how people claim that it benefited them. And because I frequently can associate how blood pictures looks with uh, certain conditions people have, I wasn't completely surprised. Uh, I do know that turmeric and this particularly the turmeric and uh, ginger combination would be yeah. beneficial yeah. for the liver, the gut. And so um, I was actually expecting that there would be some improvement, but this was a very dramatic improvement. It's, you know, it's like anyone who knows a lot about turmeric and curcumin knows that it's got a huge bioavailability issue. And so we claim to solve that problem with our technology. And it looks to me like it got absorbed. <laughs> so that's one of the things that drew me to uh, the Vitafy is that I have already known about a lot of the research benefits with curcumin, but I also know that uh, it has been notoriously difficult for some of the beneficial compounds to cross the blood brain barrier, to get into the joints where it's been shown to have in vitro benefit, to get into the liver or gut health. And so <clears throat> I believe that. Um, Vitafy has done a great job of solving those issues because yeah. obviously yeah. it does get absorbed. You know, one uh, what this reminds me of is um, how to put it so this won't get flagged. You know, the past three or four years has had a significant worldwide problem. Yes. Uh -huh. And then a solution was presented for the problem, which may be even worse than the original problem. If we know what we're talking about, right? And um, someone very close to me had opted for the solution, which I'm not ever going to opt for, if you know what I mean. Well, the second time they did it, um, they called me and they were like, in bed, in tears, in pain. And concerned. And I'm like, make a whole, probably 20 drops of the, of the curcumin product and put it on your tongue because it will absorb like right in your mouth like that. And about 15 minutes later, they're like, oh, I feel fine. I'm like, oh my God, that's nuts. So that's, you know, so this this solution that is actually now a problem, you know, that's one thing people are very concerned about is is what it's doing in their blood. So I find it, it interesting how fast it worked there. So anyways, what um any anything else you'd like to add about the product that has gotten you so excited about it? Because it's not like, you're a novice to cool supplements, you know? <laughs> what is it about this one where you're like, okay, I'm gonna tell people about this, right? And your enthusiasm seems to be infectious because everyone at the office was like, George says it's good, we're on it. 
So, <laughs> so one of the things that um, a lot of times products have maybe um, more single purpose benefits. Yeah. And yeah. one of the things that I like about this product is that it has a very wide range of benefits and really helps to address some of the um, most common concerning issues that people have. And so because of that, it, uh, it it's a single product that can be used um, and people seem to get a wide range of benefits. Uh, um, office manager at the clinic mentioned that her um, elderly mother used it and had chronic hip pain for years and uh, um, she's pain free now. And so of course that's something that is uh, always would grab your attention. And in the short time that I have been using it, I've uh, well, just even noticed some things about myself. So you're right. I, I'm not a novice to uh, really good supplements. I take a number of them myself. And one of the things that I believe is that our gut health plays a essential role in our, our entire body's health. So yeah. the first day that I took some of this, I had picked out in some nuts. And a lot of times I can tell by how I'm eliminating the next day, um, maybe how my gut health is. And even both by color and consistency, and so I'm not gonna get overly graphic with that. But I noticed that um, the second day after taking this, uh, my eliminations looked like everything was just very finely ground up, like my digestion was much more complete the color, um, which is supposedly golden brown, uh, is an indication of good gut health. So that can improve my own gut health. Let me know that there's something going on with this that's more than just uh, people thinking that there's something uh, going on or making it up. So, yes. Love it. Yeah, it's, it's such a, I mean, goodness, just go to PubMed and type in curcumin and almost anything you want. And someone somewhere has said, oh, there Looks like the research I just did says this should help. Um, mm -hmm. But typically they just say, well, but it doesn't have very good absorption. And, uh, you know, what we're seeing having solved that um, is like stunning, really extraordinary what it's doing for people. Anyways, I so appreciate your time. Great to meet you. I really look forward to helping you help a bunch of people. I think we're going to have fun doing that. Um, and uh, anyways, I have a feeling I'll be back regularly to Phoenix to help you guys. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank Thanks you so much, much Stephen. I certainly appreciate it. Yep.